Hi, I am Amit Gupta. I am an AWS Solutions Architect. In this tutorial, we will learn how to deploy a model and detect anomalies at scale. Specifically, we will focus on how to start and host a trained model, run image inferences, and the types of process decisions plant operators can take based on the image inferences and how to scale the number of inference units. Let's head over to the Amazon Lookout for Vision console where we have an existing trained model. Uh, we, let's go over the steps on how to start this model and host it. So let's click on model one. And here we come, we have to kind of click on use model tab. Uh, let's click on the code snippets. And so the use model tab gives you a set of useful AWS CLI command code snippets, which you can use right away on your terminal. So in order to start the model, you can just copy and paste these, this particular command here and execute it on the terminal. Uh, just a quick one on, on this particular command, it's using the arguments project name, which is demo, the model version is one, and the number of inference units. So the, by default, the number of inference units is one, which means on an average, you can run about five image inferences per second. But if your business requires you to uh, run a higher and you need higher throughputs per second, uh, you can scale the number of inference units. So if you go to two, you can expect to get 10 image inferences per second and, and likewise. So it gives you a very easy way to scale your number of inference units uh, just with a command line argument here. So let's go copy this one and go to our terminal window and execute this command. And what you see is that now the model will move from the train state into going into an hosted state here. So let's go back to our uh, models tab here. And what you see is from the training complete, it is now beginning to uh, starting the hosting process. Uh, this would take a few minutes. So in the interest of time, I already have a hosted model here. And so let's go uh, to model two here to run image inferences. So we follow the same process, click on the use model tab, click on the CLI commands, and let's run uh, anomaly detection on our images. So same process, we copy this command here and we go back to our terminal window and paste this command. And here we just need to provide the images that we want to run inferences on. So I'm already in a directory which has a number of images. And so let's run our image inference on this particular image, test anomaly 11.jpg. And uh, this command will come back with a JSON response uh, with like, is anomalous? Is it true? In this case, it's true. And a confidence of 83%. In this case, the inference is correct. It was an anomalous image. And uh, uh, you're getting all these stats. Uh, let's head over to the dashboard. And so you can go to the dashboard by clicking on dashboard here. And this dashboard gives you a number of useful uh, uh, statistics. It tells you how many images have been processed and uh, how many uh, anomalies have been detected. And it also gives you a ratio. So based on this information, plant operators can make some uh, useful business decisions. They can decide based on the anomaly, whether they want to scrap the product or they want to rework the product, or is it still okay to ship the product, or they can make grading decisions, you know, depending on the uh, anomaly of the product and, and depending on like number of anomalies being detected in a period of time, they can make business decisions, whether they want to, you know, uh, slow down the production line or, you know, stop the production line. So this dashboard gives you this information and likewise, uh, the same information is also reflected uh, in CloudWatch uh, console. Uh, you can go to CloudWatch, click on metrics and follow through the tabs and it gives you uh, the number of anomalies that have been detected based on the, on the timeline here. So let's go back to the console again uh, and utilize the pay as you go model. So go back to the use model here and once you're done, 
uh, inferencing the images and you no longer need the model, you can go ahead and stop it and that would that way you're not incurring any cost here. So uh, it's the pay as you go model here. So let's go to this one and execute this command. And this uh, stops the model hosting process. And what you will see going back here, it's now uh, stopping the hosting and you no longer have to you know, pay uh, the inference time. Uh, you're not built for it. One important point to note here is how the inference hours are calculated. So each additional inference unit increases your processing speed by one inference unit. So you're effectively built per inference unit per inference hour. So for example, if you are using two inference units and you use the model for eight hours, you'd be built for eight times to 16 inference hours. And that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for listening.